This time for sure, guys. Here is Simplicity 2 playing the original phrases against reflected in place. Sounds like this. This is Simplicity 1, where we're playing the original phrases against the reflected and reversed phrases, which sound like this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 24, Cycles Awareness. In this episode, we reflected that the more we listen to our strange new sequences, the more we become used to them. Reflect Going from uh, 1, which is a heptatonic parallel 01, with D and F, to heptatonic parallel 2, with D flat and G flat, is an extended kind of modulation. And the amount of work and time we're spending on this too is to teach ourselves uh, and increase our ability to compose. Um, we're, and of course, we're always looking for new cool sounds. So we kept working with the simplicity scores. We updated the annotation. We got all the annotation in place down here in the uh, reflected in place scores. Everything that was a major turns into a minor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then we began adding, as we said, what we call reverse lines. So to show what a reverse line looks like, we have to show everything here. Show everything here. And then you can see, this is our very first and original. I mean, there's so many tracks here. Simplicity one, first line. Then we reflected it in place, and reflection means uh, up, down, like, and this sounds like this. And then we took each of these lines and reversed them. So this one started at the top and went down like this, and now we reversed it. And this one, and this one, and this one. So that sounds like... This. And then finally, and the purpose of all this, was we're trying to find a variation of the minor reflection that'll sound nice played up against the major. And that's, that's what you heard us come in on. But you see, every once in a while, there's a clash. And by a clash, we mean they're exactly, uh, if, there's a, if there's a note that's only a space of one apart. And here the B and the C uh, clash. Really? Oh, the B and the B flat, I should say. The B and the B flat clash. So you can see there's a couple clashes in there. So that's as far as we got today. And we'll play this for you. And interestingly, as long as they're only, if they're two half steps apart, we're not going to call it a clash. So that concludes today's stream. What we like is that we got it figured out why we're spending so much time on this. We're really teaching ourselves some, we're teaching ourselves two things. We're teaching ourselves more about reflecting a scale from major to minor and back. And we're teaching ourselves about what we call super or extend modulation going from a one kind of a 
do re mi scale to a new kind of a do re mi scale where all the chord functions are preserved the note functions are preserved but some of the pitches are different and that sounds different but we can still follow some of our rules for energy stories shout out to miss cleo who kept us engaged and inspired tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming